New York tough means New York loving. And I love New York. And I love you. And everything I have ever done has been motivated by that love. And I would never want to be unhelpful in any way. And I think that given the circumstances, the best way I can help now is if I step aside and let government get back to governing. And therefore, that's what I'll do. Because I work for you. And doing the right thing is doing the right thing for you. Because as we say, it's not about me. It's about we. Kathy Hochul, my lieutenant governor, is smart and competent. This transition must be seamless. We have a lot going on. I'm very worried about the Delta variant, and so should you be. But she can come up to speed quickly, and my resignation will be effective in 14 days. And let me say this on a personal note. In many ways, I see the world through the eyes of my daughters, Kara, Mariah, and Michaela. They are 26 and 26 twins and 23. And I have lived this experience with and through them. I have sat on the couch with them, hearing the ugly accusations for weeks. I have seen the look in their eyes and the expression on their faces. And it hurt. I want my three jewels to know this. My greatest goal is for them to have a better future than the generations of women before them. It is still in many ways a man's world. It always has been. We have sexism that is culturalized and institutionalized. My daughters have more talent and natural, natural gifts than I ever had. I want to make sure that society allows them to fly as high as their wings will carry them. There should be no assumptions, no stereotypes, no limitations. I want them to know from the bottom of my heart that I never did and I never would intentionally disrespect a woman or treat any woman differently than I would want them treated. And that is the God's honest truth. Your dad made mistakes. And he apologized. And he learned from it. And that's what life is all about. And I know the political process is flawed. And I understand their cynicism and distrust and disappointment now. But don't give it up. Because government is still the best vehicle for making positive social change. Lastly, I want to remind all New Yorkers of an important lesson, and one that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. And that's what you New Yorkers did in battling COVID. The enemy landed in New York State. COVID launched the attack here. It came on planes from Europe, and we had no idea. It was an ambush. And it was up to New Yorkers to fight back. We were on our own. And it was war. Nurses, doctors, essential workers became our frontline heroes. Hospitals became the battlegrounds. Streets were still. And sirens filled the city's silence. Trailers carried the bodies of our fallen brothers and sisters. But you refused to give up, and you fought back, and you won, going from the highest infection rate in the nation to one of the lowest. No one thought we could do it, but you did it. You led the nation, and you showed the way forward. And how you did it is what's most important. You did it together. 
not as black New Yorkers or white New Yorkers, not as LGBTQ New Yorkers or straight New Yorkers or Democrats or Republicans or upstate or downstate or Jewish, Muslim, Protestant or Catholic New Yorkers, but as one community, one family, the family of New York. You overcame the naysayers and the haters and the fear and the division and you unified and you rose and you overcame and you saved lives. And that was powerful in its effect. It was beautiful to see, and it was an honor to lead. Please remember that lesson. Hold it dear and hold it up high for this nation to see, because it is New York State at her finest, creating her legacy, fulfilling her destiny, giving life an animation to the lady in the harbor, saying, Excelsior, we can be better, we can reach higher, and proclaiming e pluribus unum, out of many, one, unity, community, love. That is our founding premise and our enduring promise. And that is the salvation of this nation that it so desperately needs to hear. Thank you for the honor of serving you. It has been the honor of my lifetime. God bless you.